It's a day indeed, and um, we have come to celebrate it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. While we wait for the band group and the graduating class to get closer, that we might take our processional hymn and usher them in, we want to formally reintroduce to you today's program. This is Logos International Secondary School. I know you know. And today we've gathered to celebrate the class of 2013. Hallelujah. We are also here to celebrate the 25th graduation ceremony of Logos International Secondary School. This implies that this graduating class are also silver jubilarians. Hallelujah. Amen. AKA the game changers. Yes. Yes. I want to say you are welcome, our parents and guests. You are welcome to this place. My name is Mr. Santos Namdi Iwu. I'm calling the program with Mrs. Emenike Charity. God bless you as you enjoy us, as you enjoy the program, and as you enjoy all the proceedings of this program today, and God will surely bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bonjour à tous. Ah, I can't say any response. You can't live here today without saying something in French. Bonjour à tous. Oh, our parents will speak French today. You know what you are going to answer? I am Madame Charité. You say, Bonjour, Madame Charité. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, Madame Charité. Oui, vous êtes le bienvenu à École Secondaire International Logo à Wamama. Dans la cérémonie de remise de diplôme de la classe 2023, vous êtes le bienvenu. C'est un grand jour. C'est une journée fantastique. C'est une journée merveilleuse. C'est une journée que vous n'allez pas, pas oublier. Vous êtes le bienvenu. Nous sommes ici aujourd'hui pour célébrer nos étudiants sans ans pour leur travail acheté et persévérance qui a payé. Bon, en tant que maître de cette cérémonie, je vous assure qu'il y a beaucoup à manger, beaucoup à boire. Donc, vous êtes le bienvenu. Merci beaucoup. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Can you resound it? Resound that clap. Resound that clap. Hallelujah. If for any reason you did not understand what she said, just say oui. Oui, d'accord. Oui. Don't say oui. Mr. Oui, Adel. Even oui. if I don't understand French, I understand oui. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Auntie Charité, oui. Oui. God bless you. At least you are spoken. We are quickly going to usher in the graduating class with our processional hymn. Please, we want to request that as they march in, today is their day. We honor them by standing up 
as they march in. It's not easy to be a silver jubilarian. It's not easy to pass through six years of rigorous training. It's not just easy to stay away from parents for six years. And today, they are graduating. To God be all the glory. They deserve our honor. We need to get up as they get closer and as we usher them in with our processional hymn to be led by the band group, the school band. Please, as they get closer, we want to request that um, we don't interrupt the flow. As they go, as they're coming in, we don't need to block their ways. I know we would like to take uh, photographs of them. You can stay where you are and zoom in. If you zoom in, you will get the face of your child, but not to disrupt their flow. We want to make that passionate request. I announced earlier on that the canopies are tied. Please, as their parents come in and our guests, as they come in, protocol officers should help them direct, uh, to be directed to the canopy that is designated for them. There is a canopy that is not tagged, and I told us earlier that that canopy is also meant for parents. Students are not expected to be on those canopies. The students, please check out where the canopy for your class is and uh, take a seat there. We will not like uh, movements that are unnecessary. We also want to request that um, as the graduates take their seat, we will not like parents going there to meet them or graduates leaving, leaving their seats to go and meet their parents. That definitely will slow down the proposed pace and it may delay us in some of the programs. So we want to request that as they take their seats, Parents, please stay where you are. You can zoom in and take photographs of them. We will not um, uh, be happy with people moving from their seats to go and meet the graduates or vice versa. How are you? Hallelujah. Today is a great day, and I want to say that as they are much in, in we want you to know that everything you see here today is made in lodges. We have this and that. We. Oui. Hallelujah. Amen. Get yourself entertained. You can take photographs from where you are sitting. It's a great day indeed. We bless God that after the long journey, we have come to the end of a phase of the journey and the beginning of a greater phase. This our children has been expecting today and I thank God that they are experiencing today. I know our parents have been expecting a day like this. Thank God you are experiencing today. Our prayer is that we shall experience greater graduation ceremonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Aujourd'hui est un grand jour. Les finissants défilent maintenant. C'est bien. C'est l'œuvre de Dieu. Oui. C'est bien. Regarde les finissants. Please, as I said earlier, can we rise on our feet as we welcome them, as we usher them in? Can we rise on our feet? It is their day, and they have every reason to make shakara. <laughs> I like that. As I said earlier, these are silver jubilarians. It's not just a coincidence that your son, your daughter, is one of the graduates that are celebrating the silver jubilee. It's not just a coincidence. It is an indication that um, you will keep celebrating double, double as they progress in life. If you believe that, you say amen from where you are. Amen. It 
It's not magic. What you're seeing around you is not magic. It's a product of years and days of training and preparation. And this is not the only thing we do in lodges. As I said earlier, we do this and that. We prepare soldiers, we prepare captains. We prepare musicians and instrumentalists because we know there is a tomorrow, a greater tomorrow for these children. We prepare them for wherever their growing ages shall call them. I know you will agree with me that these children are doing it better than the Nigerian army. Don't quote me. <laughs> Don't tell me that this is paramilitary because this is a greater military than the para. God bless you. You can only get this in lodges. I remember when I was a soldier. If you like what you're seeing as a parent and you want a child to be prepared in this manner, bring your child to lodges. That's the only place you can get this and that. see the class of 23 the game changers the silver jubilarians I can see them marching in how beautiful how glorious they appear and the how great a day It is the day I want to request that the protocol officers should also assist them in directing them to their seat well prepared for them. As I said earlier, I wish to plead with parents, let's not disrupt the flow. I can see smiling faces. Yes, and the girls look to be a few inches taller today. A That's clear wonderful. indication. Okay, go ahead there. That's wonderful. God bless you. The Idamunas, God bless you. The Mwewus, God bless you. The Mesomas, God bless you. The Ibes. The Ibes, God bless you. The Akawubas, God bless you. The Kabuas, God bless you. The Fimbas, God bless you. The Chidiabaras, the Moors, God bless you. The Arinzas, the Anekas, God bless you. The Bangikosi, God bless you. Let's direct them as they take their seat. It's your day. Give me that smile again. I think I enjoy it. Yes, it's a wonderful day. Today marks the culmination of many years of the old night. God bless you. The Benizas, God bless you. The Wisdoms, God bless you.
We thank God so much for such a day, long expected. This is desire come true. The Campbells, God bless you. The Iwalas, God bless you. The Wallisas, God bless you. While they are taking their seats, I want to request that um, Igwe Ugona should get ready. Emanuelas, God bless you. The Ibequest, God bless you. The Abaziers, God bless you. The Ononobas, I love that smile. The Okolis, God bless you. Please, while they take their seats, we want to request that um, Igwe Ugona should um, get ready to take us in the immediate next program. Item in the program, please. and you are happy, please can you give us a wave from there? God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, can we pay attention and um, get some information that will enable us to have a smoother activity today? Hallelujah. Amen. I want to inform us that um, our program, this today's uh, ceremony is going to run in two sessions fused into one. We are going to have a valedictory service session and also the awards and prize giving session, both of them in one program. To enable us run this smoothly, I want to request again, I make it as a plea, I give it as an information to both our graduating students and our guest parents. Please, we want to plead with us it will not be proper for crisscrossing parents moving from their canopy to go and meet the, their children and children moving from their canopies to go and meet their parents. If we do that, it's going to disorganize the program and it will definitely delay the proceeding. In as much as we will do our best to get this program rounded off in a good time so that we can go home, we want to plead with you to cooperate with us. Crisscrossing will not be welcome. Please, moving from your canopy to go and meet the graduates and uh, forth, going back and forth will not be the best. Please, let's avoid that. Parents should please be in the canopies, if we finish in time, you will have enough time if you so wish to interact with them and uh, do this and that. But please, let's cooperate and um, avoid 
such crisscrossing. God bless you as you cooperate with us in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. We want to quick Click call on Master Igwe Gona to come and take us on the Bible reading. Go, go now, please. We can do that. Amen. Amen. Please let's turn our Bibles to the book of Psalm. Psalm number 103. From the beginning I read, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy youth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always shy, neither will he keep his anger forever. He had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the earth is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them. As the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. Verse 16. For the Lord passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his commandment, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hacking unto the voice of his word. 
Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his all his works in all the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our lives in Jesus' name. All right, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I invite Miss Fevon Ndubisi and Fevon Anyangu to come and lead us in the congregational hymn. Please a round of applause for them. You can do better than that.
Anyamu and Thank you, Miss Fever, Anyamu and NBC Fever. That was fantastic. At this point, I would like to invite the school choir for the administration. The school choir, please, for the choir administration. see more parents coming in you are welcome we have canopies that are prepared specially for you our protocol officers will direct you to the canopies that are prepared for you god bless you Oh. 
I thought it was going to be. Yeah. 
blessings. To some, you are blessings to our generations. that wonderful rendition as I said earlier you can only get this in lodges hallelujah Amen. praise the Lord hallelujah that was the welcome song cum the choir administration from the band group and the school choir at this point we want to recognize and also welcome to the high table officially 
some dignitaries in our midst whom we invited. They honored our invitation and they are here with us to celebrate. To whom honor is due, honor should be given. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have our order of events, there are some things you may be expecting, but may not come as we have them in the program booklet. Remember I said earlier, we have this at the back of our mind that parents and guests ought to live early enough. And we're doing everything we can to get that achieved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to introduce to you and also to welcome a personality on whose directive this place was started. This foundation that we are all building on today was laid on his um, directives. He is no other person than the vision giver the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I always have the pleasure to introduce him. Hallelujah. Amen. He is no other one than our Father in heaven. We Please can we stand as Lord we welcome. I have the pleasure to reintroduce the host and captain of this gathering today, the distinguished personality. In case you never know, his name is Jesus Christ. He is Alpha Omega, who is mine and whom I am. Alpha Omega. The maker of the universe, he is Jesus. Oui. Oh, Jesus. De the rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, can we clap and welcome the Lord? Can we wave also and tell him Alleluia. you are welcome in this place? Thank you, Father, for honoring us and being in our midst. Thank you, our Father, for taking your seat. Thank you for being in charge of today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making today a reality. Thank you, Lord. You are welcome, Daddy. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is another personality whom the Lord gave the vision. And um, he has been running with this vision. He is our father in the Lord. The person that taught me how to call God, Imirinius God. Imiri. Imiri. Hallelujah. Amen. He is also known as Onye Nemelitobi. Otua. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can do better than the choristers. You can do better than the choristers. General Superintendent of the Watman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, our pastor, our father, Pastor A.C. Ohanebo. Hallelujah. 
as soon as he comes around, we are going to pause and let him have his seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I also want to introduce to us the chairman of this occasion, one of our daddies, one of the people that answered the call of God very early and has remained. He is our pastor, our father, Dr. Charles Agbebu. A sound ovation. Please, the protocol officers. Oh, Daddy, you're welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Yeah, you do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is not just the chairman. He has been a friend of Lodges long, long before now. And he remains a friend of Lodges and also a father in Lodges. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Talk your once more welcome, sir. I want to also call on another personality. The vice chairman, the board of governors of Logos International Secondary School. A man that loves education very well. A man whom God has used in different areas to build talents. Not just to build them, but to also discover them, build them and sustain them. He is one of our pastors, one of our daddies, Dr. Chris Ebo Durebusako. Dr. You can do better than that. Sir. You can do better than that. Welcome, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To sit by his side, I don't know whether left or right, but wherever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is another academy, another personality that has risen from the lowest cadre in the educational sector to the highest cadre, carrying people along as he rises. Hallelujah. Amen. He is also our pastor, Dr. Ralph I. Ngoke. Please, ladies and gentlemen, can we welcome him? Doc, sir. Welcome. You're welcome, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. We also want to welcome another educationist. Somebody who has been there before and is still there now. He is no other person than Dr. Okejin Everestus M. Ladies and gentlemen, can we welcome him to the high table? Dr. Sir. God bless you, sir. I also have in the house a minister of the gospel, also a member of the board of governors. He is no other person than Pastor Amos Yongo. You're welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. We also want to recognize another member of the Board of Governors, a young barrister doing great things. He is barrister, pastor, Michael Oyaya. Hallelujah. Amen. Why we expect him and why we reserve the, his seat for him. I want to call on another member of the Board of Governors, Pastor Ferdinand Ongukwe. God bless you. 
when he comes around, we, he will take his seat. We also have a space on the high table for another pastor of us, a person that has risen to the highest point in education, a professor. He is no other person than Professor Sixtus O Anyangu. I want to force him to be my namesake. He is Professor Sixtus, and I am a professor in the Mexican Santos. Sixtus and Santos. Professor, welcome, sir. <laughs> Yes, the, the graduates are reacting positively because they agree with me. God bless you. <laughs> yes, yes, you can do better. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming to the high table the pastor that God has placed over this diocese, a daddy indeed. In the person of Pastor and Mommy Precious, I hug. That you are welcome to the high table. She's coming. I can see her with Action Mupo. Welcome, ma. You can, students, are you tired of clapping? You can do better than that. You can do better. You can do better. Action, mommy. <laughs> All right. The next is our pastor, Pastor Honorable Ogweri Ndubisi Demian, to the high table. Pastor Ndubisi, sir. To help us. Protocol officers, please help us. All right. It seems he's on the way. All right. We also invite. Mr. Emotike Isaac, sir, you are welcome. Mr. Emotike, sir. Okay. Let's go ahead. It's on the way. All right, the next person is Pastor Amuku Patrick, sir, you are welcome. Pastor Amuku, sir. You see the students, students are tired. I'm sure you that your rice is waiting for you, so clap. All right, the next person is Pastor Amugo Batlomi. So you are welcome to the house. All right. The next on the list is Mr. Mwapara Stanley. The Logis chapter. You are welcome, sir. Is he around? All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I love being directed because the living must also always be directed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I almost made some mistakes. I almost put asunder what God has joined together in recognition. Hallelujah. Please, I want us to Welcome alongside our daddy, Dr. Okejimi Varestus, his wife. I think I should have called Dr. and Mrs. Dr. and Dr. Mrs. Okejimi Varestus. <laughs> Mommy, you are welcome. I saw her. I introduced my Kwasi Nemsek. Prof. Sixtus, just without letting us know that sitting by his immediate left is 
our principal, the wife. Peseta. Our amiable principal, you can do better than that. So it is good to know that Prop Sixtus is the wife, the husband of our principal. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Prof and Dr. Mrs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. While we are introducing the members of the Parents Teachers Association, we did not let you know that they are what they are. So at this point, I want us to also recognize Pastor Ndubisio Heri, earlier called, we want to recognize him as the national chairman of the Parents Teachers Association. And he is here in that capacity. It's also good we know that Mr. Imosike Isaac is here in the capacity of the national vice chairman of Parents Teachers Association. I also want us to know that Pastor Amuku Patrick is here in the capacity, in his capacity as the treasurer of Parents Teachers Association. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mrs. Ashebu Gloria is also here as the financial secretary. Pastor Amugo Batlomi is also here as an ex-official member. Mr. Wana Frost Stanley is here as the secretary, Parents Teachers Association, while Surveyor Pastor Fias Ezire is also here, both as a parent and as the assistant secretary, Parents Teachers Association. I want to plead with the protocol officers that as soon as we see this, People, please help us bring them to the high table. There shall be no vacant seat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to quickly call on Pastor Felix Nawobu. He is a friend of Lodges. Pastor Nawobu is the manager of Swinte Computers. He has partnered so much with lodges and we want to welcome him to the high table protocol officers please look around if he's around or he's sending a representative please let's bring them to the high seat i also want to call mr dan ewa mr dan ewa is the president lodges almini He is an ex of lodges. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to call on Pastor Modestus SAG. He is the director of works, Logos International Secondary School. Pastor SAG, sir. I want to also call on Pastor Kennedy MSOB. Pastor Toby is the manager, Logo Superfood and Agro Products. Pastor Mesobi, sir. I also want to call on Pastor Dr. Edwin Onyabo. He is the National Campus Coordinator. Watchman Campus Fellowships. Alright, girls. We are so inviting to the high table. Mr. Uroko Maswell C. <laughs> That's well, sir. 
The next person is Pastor Okolie Ifani E. Pastor Okolie, you are welcome to the high table, sir. We also have in the list Mr. Jude Okudiba Okudiba. Mr. Jude Okudiba. I can see him coming. Can we can we clap? Can we clap students? Can we record them with a sound of shun? Sad you're welcome to the high table. Pastor Okoli Fani is a pastor in Okada Yossi. He's a charismatic pastor. You're welcome, sir. It's uh, our mommy every day young. All right, welcome. We also want to invite to the high table. Me engineer Omar Chide. Engineer Omar Chide. <laughs> Protocol of Lisa's Day, Please, as they march to the high table, deserve our welcome. Engineer, sir, you're welcome. Welcome, sir. Engineer, you're welcome. The next is, I don't know why the students are tired of clapping. I say clap, clap. Welcome down with a sound ovation. They deserve it. Mr. C.Y. Iwuchuku, you are welcome to the high table, sir. The next is Sister Elizabeth Ezechuku. Sister Elizabeth Ezechuku, wherever you are, ma'am, you are welcome to the high table. Idamunya. Pastor and Sister Idamunya is one of the parents of our graduating students. So you are welcome to the high table. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I can see the members of the executive of the Parents Teachers Association, led by Pastor Ndubisi Ogweri, my own brother. Can Pastor Sovereign of Fimbas is there too. Can we welcome them with this celebration? Welcome them, students. Welcome them. They deserve it. Honor to whom honor is due. Welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I want to plead with the protocol officers. If you cite any of the people that have been called to the high table in their absence, as they arrive and you identify them, please give us a signal so that we usher them in and give them their seats. Hallelujah. Amen. The Igbo man will tell you that Ezo kes can hear you. That I thought you Hallelujah. Amen. We want to quickly go to the next item in the order of events today, and that is the chairman's opening remark. I want us to know that as we progress. Who will still um, update us and um, take other part of the program? Praise the Lord. So while the chairman prepares to take his opening remark, I have this reminder to give to us that the information that the management of lodges wish to have you know 
that our the sale of forms for our supplementary entrance examination into JS1, JS2, and uh, J and SS1 for 2023 stroke 2024 academic year is still on. The sale of the form is still on. And the date for the next supplementary entrance examination will be on the 26th of August, 2023, by 9 a.m. Hallelujah. Amen. The forms can be picked from any of the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, the Assistant and National Headquarters within and outside Nigeria. We have been having a series of calls from people wanting to know when the next entrance examination will be, when it will hold. Please, this information is for us. God bless you as we call on the chairman for his opening remark. Chairman, sir. Welcome, sir. Hallelujah. While the chairman is booting, we want to recognize the presence of all the assistant pastors from different locations that are here present, our elders and the founding fathers of this movement and this institution. Please, I wish the protocol officers will help us if there's any of them that's around, please help us look at them. But meanwhile, I want to call on them to please come up and take a place on the high table. You are our pride. All the dancers and pastors from the different locations that are here present, whom I may not have called, or we may not have called to the high table. Who else will be at the high table if not you? Please let them come up and take their seats at the high table. God bless you as you do that. Chairman sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let there be a mic for any other guest. I once more welcome us to this Silver Jubilee graduation and award giving ceremony. All our parents, all our visitors, our friends. And our very students, all of you are welcomed here today in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to make a little remark as a chairman of this occasion, and I want to take a bearing from the word of God in Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. I want us to pay attention. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee.
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have come for graduation ceremony. Of our students that have toiled night and day, learning from their teachers, learning from their pastors. And uh, as I just said, we refer to this portion of the scripture that is telling us that wisdom is the principal thing in all that getting gets knowledge, gets wisdom. There is a difference between knowledge and ignorance. Knowledge is having information of everything that is necessary for you to have idea of, to exist very well on this earth, as well as being able to be in a good condition in the next world. Some people may not believe that it's next world, but there is a next world, and all of us believe it. Our Christian faith, we don't question it. But before we go there, we have to live here. If somebody dies while in the womb, that person will not experience this world. It is for theologians to know whether that person will make heaven or not. If he has become a full human being, if, he's, if he, that person can be judged. But once somebody is born into this earth, it is expected of you to know what you ought to know to live a good life here as well as be able to make it in heaven. And that is why we say that knowledge is very necessary. So if for every man born of a woman, the knowledge of God is indispensable. Because if you don't have knowledge of God, you will not know when you do what is right or when we do what is wrong that will prevent you from having a relationship with God even after you have died. So, it is necessary that we have that knowledge of God. After the knowledge of God, the next important thing as a human being is you have for you to have knowledge of your environment. That is knowledge of the world. If you have knowledge of the world, it will enable you to know what is the, how to behave, how to relate with people, how to acquire skills, how to participate in the universe, how to gain from people, and how to impart positively to the society you have met. And the Bible says, in all thy getting, get knowledge. In all that getting, get wisdom. If you lack this basic knowledge, you are in trouble. You, you may acquire everything in this life, but from time to time you find out that it's hollow in your life. Because even though you have all the wealth, you, 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 there is doubt in your life whether what you are doing is right or what you are doing is wrong. And it is in a bid to ensure that our children, whom God has given us, acquire this knowledge of God and the knowledge of the universe, knowledge of the world, that every sincere parent seeks to send his or her child to a good school. It is not every school that tells a child that there is God. There are some schools where immorality is taught to the children. There are some schools who, when you send your child, and when they come back, you find out that, that you have created a monster that will destroy you and your family. 
but they may be high flying academic institutions. So we appeal to our parents, we appeal to our guidance that this is the essence of education, this is the essence of life. You have knowledge. You have knowledge of God. You have knowledge of the things of this life because they will I, I enable that particular child to live a good life and they contribute his or her own quota to the development of the society. So, every parent, therefore, ought to scrutinize. Not every school, as I said, not everything that answers an academic institution is what I was sending our children to. I want to tell you that in every environment you find yourself in the locality where you are, there are many various, various schools. There are some that what the child is supposed to be taught in a year, the children are not exposed to up to 50% of that. But at the end of the day, they will be expected to write external exams, WAYEK, NECO, JAMP, and so on and so forth. And you cannot blame the child. He has to, be, he has to struggle to, to pass. He has to be desperate. And most of the time, what can he do? He engages himself or herself in examination practice, in my practice which further alienates that child from God. Praise the Lord. So you see that it is the, 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 the parents are responsible even for the behavior, negative behavior that the children speak. But most of the time they will not know it. They say, ah, have I not paid the, the, my child's school fees? You have paid your child's school, school fees. Have you asked this, child, uh, this school I'm sending my child, will he come back a better person? This, child, this school I'm sending my child, will he come back knowing what he ought to know in the various subjects? Do they cover the scheme? Or am I exposing my children to, to the stress of life ignorantly? Here at Lodges, I want to tell us we are different. In as much as you can go out there or any part of Nigeria and you see very excellent, uh, good academic institutions. But it is very difficult for you to find schools that pursue godliness of the child as well as academic excellence. And that is why we are different. Are you following me, my people? I guess you are hearing me. So when you get back, you ask yourself, I attended graduation ceremony of uh, my, 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 my children today, but I'm, what did I get? So open your ears. Here, as we said, we emphasize on godliness of the child. So a child that is a mother comes here, when he comes back, he becomes a new person. Some will become even preachers to their father and their mothers. And we're happy for that. And that is the purpose of who we are called. The average student that comes here, we plummet them, inform them, teach them from the very, very first topic that is in a syllabus to the end of it. Expose the child very well that an average child, ordinary average child, should come out with good results. Most of the times, it may be that your child did not make nine A's and she comes out of this place. But I want to assure you, from evidences we have been gathering all over the years, the children that pass out here, they are different from the multitude, no matter where they are trained elsewhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Even if for any reason, most of the times the examination is not a test of uh, good uh, knowledge. Even for any time, maybe a child makes a mistake and they didn't have a good result in a particular subject. But the knowledge is there. Any second attempt, anywhere he or she is, what has been inculcated inside that child is there to propel him, even to excel above his equals as well as make it to heaven. Hallelujah. In addition to the normal curriculum we offer here, we have this ILT 
ETS, International English Language Testing System, that even graduates need to write the exams. Graduates need to come down after you have graduated from the university have your degree. You still need to come down to write these exams before you can process your admission to foreign countries. But here at the secondary school, we expose our students to it at their SS3. We have the Scholastic Aptitude Test, SAT. We have the American College Test. We have the IGC SC, International General Certificate of Secondary Education. We have the Presats. We have the pre, uh, Preparatory Arts. We have the TOEFL. So these are exams. These are what we expose our students, which 99% of the schools in other places don't expose their children to. I mean knowledge, human knowledge. So when somebody tells you, they pay 20,000 here, and they, they came with 100, uh, 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 nine A's in that particular school, it's not what we are saying. We are talking about feeding a child, building a child. And uh, somebody that anywhere he is, after you have trained him six years here, you know you have a human being. Whether he's a man or a woman, you trust him. You, if you send him to, uh, to Russia, you are sure of the person you sent. You sent him to America, he will present you well. You are not proud. You are saying what will be the fate of my child. But after exposing these children to this school, my brother go and sleep. So I, I want to encourage parents. Many of our parents, they are in, they are in the almost uh, the comparing school fees. We are not talking about school fees. The only thing valuable you can give your child after Christ is education. And whatever it will cost you to give that child, that is the highest investment. It is not buying land and building skyscraper for the child. If you build, buy all the vehicles and all the industries and, uh, and uh, leave them for your child and he is not trained, it's a matter of time he or she will sell it off and they turn to square one. But by the time you have built and trained a child who appreciates his environment and knows his left from his right, my brother, you will never regret having those children even at your old age. Praise the Lord. So, as a matter of uh, um, introduction, I say all of us welcome. Thank you, sir. Those that are in this system, don't dream of taking away your children. Those that are fond of comparing incomparable, comparing heaven and hell, I am encouraging you, stop doing that. Make effort and send your children here, you will not regret it. Praise be to the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Having uh, said that, I, want, I won't want to continue um, much because I hope I'm a teacher, so if you allow me, I can continue <laughs> talking. And, uh, uh, but we, uh, we want to work uh, with time. Thank you, sir. Um, the next MC. Thank you, sir. Can we give a resounding ovation? Can we applaud him? I think Doc is on point, directly on point, sir. God bless you so much, sir, for that insight. Before the address of welcome to be presented by the principal, I want to say that the chairman is just on point. My daughter in the university came back one day and said, Daddy, I'm not trying to flatter you of pathologists, but I want to tell you that in my school, we have two sets of students, logic students in campus and other students. Hallelujah. I said, what do you mean? He said, Daddy, I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm not trying to flatter the school. That is the truth. And she also said, in the campus fellowships, in the church in campus, we have logic students followed by other students. That is the truth. So, 
if you desire what is good, I won't say beyond that. God bless you. As I invite the principal, Logos International Secondary School, Dr. Mrs. Chiwe Anyangu, to come and give us an address of welcome. Mommy Ma, God bless you, Ma. Welcome, how it's a sound ovation, a pest setter, a mommy indeed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am a letter to stand before you now to make an address of welcome and as well as a farewell speech to the graduating class. Today, August 12, 2023. On the occasion of her Silver Jubilee graduation ceremony for 2022-2023 academic year. Let us graciously acknowledge the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank him for always being there with us. We have welcomed him before. We still need to welcome him because without him, we are nothing. We are living because he exists. Praise the Lord. We recognize the presence of the permanent head and chairman of all our occasions, the founder and the general superintendent of Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, the host in chief, Pastor A.C. Ohanebo. We also recognize uh, the Eastern pastors present. The chairman of today's occasion, the guest minister, the board of governors, the chairman and executive members of the Parent Teacher Association, the manager Swintech Computer Institute, Owere. The President and Executive Council of Lodges Alumni Association, members of the press, distinguished guests, members of staff, the graduating students, all other students and distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Once more, we humbly welcome everyone to this unique graduation and award-giving ceremony for the 2022-2023 session. It is unique because it is the 25th graduation ceremony in the series, therefore a silver jubilee anniversary. We do this with utmost unpretentiousness and faith in God because he has been the driving force and the guiding light to this impetus march to academic excellence and godliness of the youth at the secondary school level. In achieving this mandate, we have always had his grace to mold and shape lives through education and the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This great institution's founder's twin vision has remained the vocal point of our academic and spiritual work here. The reason is that the vision has been a profound one in turning out youths for the kingdom, youths of integrity and virtue. Considering our age, we keep pushing on through his grace, even though it is like swimming against the tide. Success in academic pursuits and godliness of character does not come on a platter of gold. Against the above backdrop, this occasion is called for to celebrate our graduates 2022-2023 class who have passed successfully through the vessels of academic excellence and godliness of the youth in this school. To the graduating students, we congratulate you. We laud you for your determination to make a difference to pass through this crucible of secondary education and doggedly pursue it to a logical conclusion. 
Many other students started this race of life with you, but for one reason or the other, they could not run their race in this school to the end as you have done today. My rare gems, the graduating class, this is the beginning of your reward for hard work. There are peculiarities with you. You are the first product of the present administration, starting with us six years ago in 2017. You are fortunate to fall into the 25th graduation ceremony of the school, thus celebrating the Silver Jubilee anniversary with us today. You have the highest number of believers still standing in faith. 2017, when you were admitted, you have changed the narrative of very poor results in JAM and WIAC examinations as recordly recently, recorded recently. Examples are WIAC results of few of few for this year. Molly said Laura scored four A's, five B, and one C. <laughs> Aneke Chukwa Mecca, 3A, 5B, 1C. Okoma Joy, 3A, 5B, 1C. Obina Ebeniza, 3A, 5B, 1C. Michael Akobundu, 2A, 5B, 1C. And many others, just a me to mention a few. You are the best graduating set for the past six years regarding morals, obedience, and hard work. We commend your humility, commitment, diligence, and dedication to your studies throughout these six years. Some of you represented lodges in various academic competitions, and you made us so proud by winning the coveted laurels at local, zonal, and national levels. Thank you for being worthy ambassadors. During your sojourn in lodges, all of you were exposed to enriching academic and spiritual programs. We boldly say you have received a complete education to become a total man. You have been tutored and mentored to stand for godliness and excellence. Therefore, we do not doubt that you are poised for greatness as the man of God declared, you shall continue to succeed wherever you go Amen. and show forth the light. If you recall six years ago when you were admitted into lodges, you were timid looking boys and girls uncertain about the future and not having the knowledge needed to articulate ideas. However, as you moved along and got older, as you advance from class to class, sleepless examination nights taught you discipline. High standards instilled in you a determination you could not have learned elsewhere. Accepting to be part of the community helped you imbibe all that a needer need. This transformation and growth saw you through the final days when doubts could have easily shaken the academic and spiritual foundation you spent six years building. You have shown that this vision established in 1994 has not diminished. It will not die. Today, in your shining gown, you are not only the apple of Lodge's eyes, but also the apple of the eyes of the entire world. The world will consider your integrity and virtue a model worthy of emulation. Our highly esteemed parents will heartily welcome you to this ceremony. We cannot thank you enough for your continued identification with the vision and mission of this school. Over the years, beyond payment of school fees, you have been a vital partner in successfully implementing the school's educational and godly programs. Your children stand tall today because of your huge sacrifices, support, and prayers. 
your level over them will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. As your children celebrate today, you are a celebrant. It is to the glory of God that a journey of 1,000 miles, which started with a positive step, has come to a successful end today. This calls for celebration, and we enjoy you to enjoy yourself. Our school has continued to uphold those ideals that endeared us to your patronage. Our curriculum and scheme of work are continually revised and standardized to meet international best practices. Our lessons are held under a conducive atmosphere as and when due. Extra lessons are organized for competition candidates and some identify students with learning deficiencies. In addition, the school's special academic and spiritual programs are on course. The package of accelerated Christian education, a self-tutored program other than teaching training, is very much on course. Our international examinations program is ongoing. Those who scored higher are at various stages of their admission processes into universities in the United States of America, Canada, the United Kingdom, and other parts of Europe. The international examination program is packaged to accommodate the academic and language proficiency requirements for university admissions abroad. It is essential to inform you that the British Council will soon accredit the school for the Cambridge International General Certificate of Secondary Education program. At the same time, we are upgrading our tutors with an online certification training program already on course in addition to seminars coming up next week. Similarly, we have gone further into our facelift vision projects by completing some infrastructures and constructing roads in readiness for the takeoff of the Rock University. This will allow the approval of the operational license for the commencement of the Rock University very shortly. The 2,500 seater capacity multipurpose hall project of the Parent Teacher Association is in progress. We believe that God willing, with endowments from parents and lovers of lodges, it shall be ready for use in the subsequent graduation ceremonies. We have also expanded our closed circuit television mounts in some places to ensure security, standard teaching and learning. We are also making efforts to establish largest campuses in other dioceses such as Lagos, Benin, and Jos. Interestingly today, as our manner is, we shall give various awards to some deserving staff and students who stood higher than others academically and morally in this 2022-2023 academic year. We do this to encourage excellence in every ramification of our endeavor. It will make them keep the flag of excellence flying. In conclusion, we appreciate all the members of staff. You have done a great job. Thank you for the tremendous impact you have made in the lives of these fantastic learners over the years. You have worked tirelessly and relentlessly to bring the best out of them. You are very much appreciated. God bless you all. We appreciate your profound sacrifices for their success. May God reward you greatly. Amen. We chiefly thank Pastor Felix Nawobu, the manager of Swintech Computer Institute Oweri and his team of intellectuals for their massive support in international training programs and preparation for external examinations. 
Likewise to all our friends, such as Pastor Franklin Idamunya from Portacot, Rokefas Ebenezer from Jos, Pastor Emmanuel Peters, and many others too numerous to mention, who at one time or the other have come to our aid in both academic and spiritual activities. Nevertheless, again, we reiterate our total allegiance to our father and vision bearer, the general superintendent of the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement and chairman, board of governors, Pastor A.C. Onhanebo, and our loving mother, Mommy Comfort Onhanebo, for supporting us at all times. Logis remains a beacon of light in the educational sector today because you pay the price through your hard work in prayers, sacrifice, ministration, and supervisory role. Daddy, we celebrate you. May God bless and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not forget to appreciate our founders and elders of this great movement, and of course, our predecessors for laying the foundation on which we are building. We want to extend the same appreciation on members of the Board of Governors for your resilient and relentless effort to reposition this institution for greatness and making this ceremony a fantastic event today. To the class of 2023, your largest secondary school journey terminates today. You have been highly disciplined and mentored. We shall greatly miss you all. Remember, you have a responsibility to be beneficial to yourself so that you can be helpful to your parents, alma mater, community, and the nation, and become great in life. When you become great, you begin to define your parents. We charge you today to go out there and live a life driven by purpose, values, and commitment to excellence. The world is a jungle. Be careful about the company you keep. If you are true to yourself, you will do well. You have to be on your guard and prayerful beyond academic brilliance. To the champions, of course, we're going to call out the champions today. Brilliance is not enough. Dig deep within yourself. Continue to strive. Look for further greatness and refuse to be overtaken by anyone because that has always been the case. You see people who are first class materials in the universities and all that, before you know it, it's those that manage to pass with two to merit and let my people go. They are the people that will eventually lead us, but refuse to be overtaken by anyone. As you take these steps to independence, it is our hope and prayer that the almighty God will take each step with you and bear you on eagle's wings through the challenges of each stage of living. We look forward to celebrating all you will be, become as the man of God already declares. May you do well. May you succeed. May the Lord be with you. Amen. May you continue to be a source of joy to your parents, school, community, and the nation. Amen. Once again, congratulations. We wish you outstanding excellence in your future endeavors. Long live Lodge's vision. Long live Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement. Long live the man of God, Pastor A.C. or Hannibal. Thank you. Thank you so much. We can do more than that. You can do more than that. Game changers. Game changers. Game.
game changers. Hallelujah. And if you believe what I have said, say amen. Amen. We thank you so much, our mommy, the principal, for that wonderful, this wonderful address of welcome. And I want to say it shall be according to the proclamations in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There shall be no retreat. There shall be no surrender. You shall overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I told us earlier that in lodges you will see this and that. Amen. We want to at this point have a presentation from the Creative and Innovative Club. The, creativi the Creativity and Innovation Club of Logos International Secondary School, ably led by Dr. Mrs. Informa Ahiogo and Mr. Emeka Adibe, has a presentation that will keep somebody, ah, is this logis? And the answer will be yes. You are not dreaming. Hallelujah. Mommy can take it up from there. That's the action, mommy. The agile mopo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We welcome all our sundry to lodges, a home of great beauties. Today, we are inaugurating the Creativity and Innovation Club. I want to let us know that fostering creativity and innovation is an ample need of this hour. Education, as you know, has been identified as a very essential tool for the development of any nation, especially in Nigeria that is going into extinct in the present age. I want to tell you that it lays foundation for a better and brighter tomorrow. Indeed, education is most desirable vehicle that can readily afford Nigeria, our nation, the much needed awareness, skilled manpower, creativity, inventiveness, innovative thinking, technical advancement, viable development, durable political culture, and stability needed in nation building. I want to tell you, of course you know, that the C334 educational policy in Nigeria and also the aim of the national policy on education inculcates that a free democratic society, a just and regulatory society, a united, strong and self-reliant country. So as an individual, there is need for you to imbibe all, all about creativity. So, we encourage you, bring your children to lodges, a home of great beauties, where your children will be inculcated, and the skill, the more power in them, will be actioned in order for them to be helpful to themselves and the society at large. And I want to tell you, based on that policy on education, that a comprehensive thought our plan came, an encouragement was made, all in the name of restructuring, cognitive restructuring. A young man that was just employed, less educated, came up with an idea, and it was turned down. But looking at the mindset and the awareness, the passion in the young man, I approached our amiable principal a mother of creativity. Put your hands together for her, she's wonderful. So, I want to tell you, this creativity and innovation was actually what motivated students 
to join this. And then you begin to ask, what then is creativity? Creativity involves the use of imagination or to create something that you see creating something out of nothing. In fact, what we are exhibiting today was actually made from scraps, things that were littered here and there in lodges. We gathered them together in order to form what we are showcasing today. I want to tell you, innovation is taking an idea and turning it into valuable and relevant things that you can see today. Okay, okay. lodges management. I want to tell you that our, our daddy, what he prophesied and said, that inventors will be raised out of Logos International Secondary School has come to play. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! So we stand this day to appreciate our daddy GS once again, who is the chairman of the board of governors. We appreciate all the board members, our principal, and the management who had the encouragement to move on in this project in spite of all odds. And so, we want to present to you our young logist inventors. Stay tuned as you listen to them. Make your introduction. My name is John Chime Ogechuku, John Promise. My name is Ezechuku Miracle. Ezechuku Miracle. My name is Chibike. Chibike. I'm a Chibike. My name is Opala Tubina. We have a uh, plane here. My name is Master Igwe Joseph. Today, we are in our thing and introducing Logis Invention and Creativity and Innovation Club this 12th August 2023. Here we have an aeroplane and creative club. The history of a flying machine could be traced to the greatest artist, Leonardo da Vinci, in the day 1400 AD. Da Vinci made over 200 drawings which illustrated how his own helicopter will fly by flapping. But his drawing being put to action failed on January 3rd, 1496. But the world's dream came to pass when Oribo Wright and Oribo Wright, known as the Wright brothers, made a heavier than air steam, than air steam powered and controlled flying machine on December 17, 1903, at Kitty Hall, North Carolina. Then Abraham Karim from Israel, out of his intimate passion for aeronautic technology, built his first unmanned aerial vehicle, known as a UAV, during the Yom Kippur War from the Israeli Air Force. Now present, is, now present is an aeroplane built at Lodges by the Innovation and Creative Club. Thank you. An airplane built at Lodges by Lodges. Okay, now we'll be talking about the components of this aeroplane. The main components of this aeroplane are the battery, rotors, the four in number, the frame, sensors, the antenna, and the landing gear. Okay, the remote controller over there has the receivers. Why this aeroplane has the transmitters? To connect the remote controller with the transmitters as we have done it. This on button by the side of the aeroplane. And then when the LED, that is the light emitting diode, has blinking red and is blinking and is shining or has green color it signals that they have successfully connected and then it is it shows that the airplane is ready to fly thank you we are ready to fly the pilot is ready we want to advise all the people at the runway to please shift a little so that you don't get injured by our airplane. The person at the control tower, please, we need signals from you. 
All the people are the wrong way. Please give us space. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. The pilot is doing a great work. Uh, mommy, don't run, don't run. The pilot is seeing you. It will not land until it gets to the airport. Are there people here that love Can we do Can something you better than that? Them? Can you appreciate them? It's wonderful. Don't be scared. Our plane will not crash. Oh, yes. This is made in lodges by lodges. It means the next time you want to fly to Lagos, all those that have not booked their flights already, please forget about Epis, forget about Sosoliso, forget about Dana S. Come to Lodges Air. Fly Air Lodges. Fly Air Lodges. If you get home, please check your website. Go to flyairlodges.com and book for a flight. Possibly to UK and Canada. This one is not business class. It's higher than that. Great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The plane is about to land. Hallelujah. You are. The plane has landed, and that's wonderful. Please, can we do something more than that? Please, can we do something more than that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, we, we want us to return to our respective seats. It's been a wonderful time. Please, can we return to our respective seats? Thank you so much for the Creativity and Innovation Club of Lodges for that wonderful project that was conceived and realized in Lodges. Praise the Lord. Please, I want to request that um, Pastor Novo, please, and the choristers should um, get ready to give us a, just a piece. Praise the Lord. Please, I, I have a boy here. I think his name is Michael. Please, if you are the parents, come and pick him and hold him well. Please, if you are the parents of Michael, he's here with me. Please, uh, uh, come and take him and hold him well. So that he does not, so that you let him not join the plane when the plane is flying to another place. Please, I want to request, I'm using my description here, this project needs to be appreciated. While the choristers are coming out, this project needs to be appreciated and supported. So if you are led and you appreciate this, and you want to key into the program, it will not be out of place to meet Dr. Mrs. Ihogo and uh, discuss with her and appreciate the work. God bless you. Amen. The choristers.
let both the graduates and the parents, guests, please, let's return to our seats, please. Let's be seated, security officers and protocol officers, please help us, let them get seated. Please, all the graduates, all the parents, all the students, please, can you get seated? Please, get seated while the choristers give us this peace.
of the program. The time that something unique will be planted into you has come. The time when a holy and heavenly influence that will guide you in life, that will go a long way to decide who you are, has come. You are very fortunate that the visioner, the person that God used to initiate this institution that have made you, have made many, many people interested is to your temporal eternal well-being and greatness that he is so attached to you that he shifted so many things in order to be here to bless you today. I remember very well that last year or thereabouts a unique program was holding somewhere and it was supposed to be there to speak to the people. But while this program was going on here at a point he had to shift that one and said I need to impact something on these children. Because when they are won, the world will be won. And as you can see, the vision is growing. If you look around, you see that he's passionate about your future and what will happen to you next. That's why he is driving the vision of bringing into manifestation, into establishment, the Rock University. If you look around, you see the rules. You see everything getting set. How many of you are expecting the Rock University? How many people are expecting the Rock University? Can you wave your hands? Can you wave your hands and say you are expecting the Rock University? He will give it to you. God will give it to you through him. Because that has been his passion. So today, we are going to welcome the visioner, our general superintendent, the man of God, our father in faith, the Oine Melito Obi, the general superintendent of the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Movement, to come and speak to us, to come and bless you, to give you direction. So let's welcome him to come and address.
that is here, I want you to praise the Lord. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, I would want you to pay attention now. Wherever you are in this uh, compound, visitor, parents, friends, yes. well wishers, you may not be around where I am standing. You may be behind the sheds. And I want your attention. We are told that world sees. And uh, that means uh, that you need to see the person that is talking with you. That's too much for me. I want them to see me. Hallelujah. And um, those of us that are at my back, the world does not travel backward. It travels forward. So if you want it to travel backward, you need to pay attention. You need to say, let it travel backward. Let it travel backward. Having said that, we will sing a song that is popular with every Christian uh, denomination. So wherever, whichever one you belong to, I want you to join us in this song. It says, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Because it is one of the lines that I want to talk about. So let's rise up, everyone, wherever you are. To God be the glory, great things he has done. If you have uh, the watchman hymnal, it is song number three. To God be the glory, great things he had done. So loved he the world that he gave his only son. He his, gave us his son who yielded his life and atonement for sin and opened the life gate where all may go in. We're going to sing that stanza and then sing the refrain and then we listen to the message. It's going to last some 30 minutes. Pray 
that you give wings unto the world and they may fly. Fly into the skies, no. Fly into the midst of the seas, no. But fly into the hearts of men. Thank you for answer to prayers. In Jesus' name we are prayed. You may be seated now. My exhortation is taken from the last line of that first stanza. And it says, and he opened the life gate that all may go in. Like I requested earlier, this time is not a time of discussing any other thing. This time is not a time of walking about and not being bothered. This time is not a time of photographs. And I mean what I am saying. And God means what I am saying. It's a time that you can use to change all about you in this life. I want to inform everybody that is here that you are the architect of your eternal destiny. You are the architect, the designer of your eternal destiny. That is wherever you are going to be in this life after you breathe your last. And breathing our last, we must. And breathing your last, you must. You don't need to go to university to learn that. Whether you believe or don't believe, breathing your last, you must. And then after you have breathed your last, then life begins. Then life begins. Another life begins. Now, and that is life in eternity is what I'm talking about. That you are the architect, the designer of where you are headed, where you will be in all eternity. You are the architect. It is not Satan. It is not your neighbor. It is not, it is not your enemy. It is you. It is not some demon. It is you. It is not a secondary school friend or colleague. It is you. And it's not a university classmate, but you. You are the architect. You are the designer. And you design your eternal destiny with what you do here. And at this very point in time, I'm going to lift an information. I am going to lift a piece of truth that can make you, that can help you design and then reserve a good eternity for yourself. And that is being taken from this line, and the line says, and he, Jesus Christ, opened the life gate that all may go in. If there is a gate, there is somewhere beyond the gate. There is a gate at the beginning of this compound. Listen to me. The gate at this compound is not this compound. The gate of lodges is not lodges. You arrive the gate and then you are not allowed entrance. You cannot partake of anything that is happening here. You arrive the gate with all your credentials. And then you say, I want to enter lodges. And the security people vetted you and found that you were not invited. 
and that you are not supposed to be here, and they resisted your entry, then you cannot enter here, and you cannot partake of the things happening here. Now there is a gate, and there is a life, eternal life. And that eternal life is on the side of God and on the side of Jesus. But there is another side to eternal life, which is on the side of Satan, the dark enemy of God. Now, and there is a gate. And now we are told that Jesus Christ opened that life gate, that all may go in. All may go in. So I want to show you how you enter and reserve for yourself a place in that place that has a gate. It says you open the life gate. Now in that compound, in that place whose gate he opened at the cross. There is a life that is going on there right now. There is some form of life that is going on there. There are personages that are there right now. They are not seen, but they are real. Personages, what do I mean? Personalities, beings. They are not human beings. They are spirit beings. The head of that place is God. And then another person that is there right now is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Word of God personified. Listen to me. What I mean is this. God's Word that became a person, a spirit being. But that spirit being was metamorphosed into a human being. What a miracle. And then that human being at the end of the business of opening the life gate now was re-metamorphosed into a spirit being. That is a person called Jesus. That is on in that in that place, in that, in that, in that, in that garden, or whatever name you can call it, paradise. And now you have the Holy Spirit there. Holy Spirit is a being, intelligible being. But you cannot hold him. Just like you cannot hold the air. You cannot hold the air. You cannot hold your human spirit. But your human spirit is a being, intelligible being. So we have the Holy Spirit. But not, not, not these three alone. In that place, which gate he has opened, you have Abraham. You have Isaac, you have Jacob, you have all the Christian people, all the people that lived in this world, from Abel and to anybody. Listen to me, if Adam had repented, let us assume that he repented and God received him, he is there. He is there in that compound. He is there, and you have a lot of people, Christian people, that have died and have left this world. Their spirits are there. There is, there is a place, it's real. Now, on the other side of the divide is another, another realm, another kingdom. Satan is there, and Apollyon is there. And all the demons are there. They go in there. They come to the world and, and locate people and prepare them for that place. And they go back there and to and fro. So, now I am now telling you that you need to enter that gate. That life gate. Now, I am talking about that life that we believed later on. You enter it. But you must enter a preliminary life that will lead you to that kingdom. Is anybody listening to what I'm saying? You must enter a preliminary life here in this world. 
you must enter a preliminary life here in this world. For you to be in that other life, in that kingdom, you must enter it. If you don't enter it, all your religion is vain. It doesn't matter which religion you practice. All your religion is vain. You must enter the life that will lead you to the life in that kingdom. You must enter it now. And you have opened the life gate to that preliminary life. And that is the preliminary life I want to talk about now briefly. He opened the life gate to the preliminary, preliminary life that will lead you to the eternal life. I suppose that I'm not ambiguous. How did he open it? To God be the glory. He gave us his only son. Who opened the life gate. How did he open it? How did he open it? He opened it by giving up himself as a sacrifice for all mankind. You know what I mean? Somebody, a multitude of people have done evil. I will make an illustration. Multitude of people have done evil. And they are to be punished for the evil they, they did. Because the nature of justice demands that when you do evil, you get punished. That is the nature of justice and that is the nature of God. Now, but all these human beings being incapacitated, being incapacitated, and God knowing that they will not be able to bear eternal punishment, then elected somebody and punished that person on their behalf. That means to say, by illustration, some most, most of people have done evil, and then they are condemned to death to be punished. And then somebody said, excuse me, George. Excuse me, George, Mr. Justice. Excuse me. I want you to put all the punishment of all these people. Even if every one of us, every one of them is entitled to life imprisonment. Multiply their life imprisonment by the number and put it on me. That's what happened. That is what happened. And then you say, you are selling Christian religion, falling foreign religion. You make the greatest mistake of your life. Oyibo man's religion, you make the greatest mistake of your life. Can I tell you this? Jesus Christ was not an Englishman. Jesus Christ was not a European. Jesus Christ was not a Canadian. Jesus Christ was not an American. Jesus Christ was a Jew and an African. So it's not Englishman's religion. It's not Canadian person's religion. There are very many people that are mistaken. And they say, oh, you both people brought us religion. We have our traditional religion. No, sir. No, ma. This is African religion. The progenitor or the bringer was a Jew and an African. He migrated into Africa, into Egypt. Let me ask you, where is Egypt? Egypt is in North Africa. Egypt is not in, Egypt is not in Scandinavian country. Egypt is not an European country. He migrated there and naturalized. So he was a Jew and an African. So it's, uh, it's an African religion. Did anybody hear me? And so he carried all the punishment upon himself. Now it is, it is disastrous. It is the height of stupidity and recklessness. 
that somebody should hear this. And instead of saying, I thank God. He says, I want to pay for my, I want to pay for my sin. Will you be able? Bet you, you need to play. Let me tell you something. Put a pin to your flesh and put it and you see the pen and you say, take away this pin, take it away, take it away. And then call for tooth egg. Tooth egg. The one that happened to me when I was 1979 and I cried like a baby. Somebody that was 30 something years crying. Call for tooth egg and have a dose of tooth egg and see the pain. And you are saying, take it away from me. Oh God, take it away from me. Call for uh, bereavement of any kind. Call for bereavement. You are bereaved of a loving child. You are bereaved of husband. You are bereaved of wife. And you have emotional turmoil. You have emotional torture. I didn't say let it happen to you, but think about it. And what you see in that situation. You are saying, and many people come trying to console you, and you will not be consoled. And after a long while, you begin to hear. Listen to me. Now, these are the things that you don't want in this world. They are brief. But conglomerate of all these pains is what is awaiting the person that refused to enter the life gate. That is what is awaiting the individual that refused to enter the life gate into that life, into that preliminary life. That's what is awaiting eternally. See, if I discover by any means that eternity has duration, I'll stop preaching. I will stop preaching. If I discover that eternity has duration, even if it be 1,000 years, 1,000 years very long, but has an end, let the person go and see it. But there is an end. What is painful is that eternity doesn't have duration. That is what is painful. And the Lord Jesus, the Prince of Peace, the conglomerate of truth, the truth of God, in a human form, said so. Now, who must I believe? I believe the philosopher. No, sir. Whom do I believe? Jesus. I believe the great thinker. I, I believe Socrates and Aristotle. No, sir. Whom do I believe? Jesus. I believe the local musician. No, sir. Whom do I believe? I believe uh, the professor of, uh, of religion or theology that is talking rubbish. That does not have the spirit of God and says whatever he wants. So whom do I believe? I believe the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Listen to me. We have religious bringers. Judaism is a religion. Judaism is a religion. The religion of Abraham and the, the religion of the Jews. Which was a metamorphose, which Jesus Christ came and changed and then said Christianity is fulfilling Judaism and Judaism is abrogated. Are you there? Yes, we have Hinduism, we have Mohammedanism, we have Shintoism, we have uh, the isms, plenty of isms. Are you there? Yes, Go and check. None of those bring us, none, none of those bring us said what Jesus Christ said. Yes, sir. None of those bring us. Yes, sir. Go and check. How do I believe those ones? I refuse to believe the person that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody has controverted it and, be, and been right. Wow. This is the person that paid the price. So if you have been a Christian, a follower of Jesus, this message is to consolidate what you have followed. Stay there, yes, sir. immovable. Yes, sir. If you have not born, if you have not entered the life gate, the life gate that leads you to the preliminary life, that will lead you to the eternal life, then enter it today. Yes, he brought 
He opened the life gate by paying for our sins. And what do you do? What you simply do is, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you. What? What an arrangement. <laughs> Being saved is the cheapest thing that anybody can achieve. Being a child of God, the cheapest thing, the simplest thing, and yet the most difficult. The simplest thing and the most difficult. Simple, simplest thing. You just, but I am a sinner. I don't need anybody to, to tell me that I'm a sinner. We all came into this world as sinners. I came in, into this world as a sinner. As you see me, and I'm a man of of old. You know what it means? If you punch all the beehive, what will happen? It will come out and sting you to death. Every person came with some nasty nature of the natural man. Some people have commutive spirits. When they come, commotion will come. Why are the houses, the families, why are they in commotion? Some man married some woman, and all of, all of them came and manifested all their natural tendencies, and hell was let loose. So, we all came into this world as sinners. So, if you want to, that gate that has been opened, if you want to enter, all you need is to get your sins forgiven. All you need is to make sure that your sins are forgiven. And then you enter into that preliminary life. That is the first step that your sins are forgiven. And can your sins be forgiven irrespective of the volume, irrespective of the size, Irrespective of the of the of the terribleness, yes, yes. You ask me, how do we know? How do we know? I want to I want to talk to you about Rehab. Rehab was a, a prostitute. Football field. They got her sins forgiven for developing a simple faith. And saying, this God of the Jews, I can see what he did. I come over, I cross the line, and I come over to him. And her sins were forgiven. What about the woman that was possessed with seven demons called Mary? Um, yes, I think Mary was her, is her name. Mary Magdalene. Seven demons. You know, this individual didn't have power over her mind. If somebody is possessed with one demon... That demon can seize your mind and you don't have power over your mind. You are doing what that demon detected. And then seven demons come together. What, what will happen? But this lady ran to Jesus and then he sacked the seven demons and set the person free and forgave all the immorality. So you tell me, but I've been into immorality, into adultery, forget it. It's a, it's a, it's not, it's not a small matter. When you come with all your heart. You say my heart has been filled with sin. The world we are into right now. Is so polluted. And that is. Young people. The world they are entering into. Is so polluted. The musicians have polluted the world. The sons of Belaya. The daughters of Belaya. Have polluted the world that you are entering. The universities are places of. What you cannot understand. The society is a place where you begin to say, are these human beings or animals? Even animals have more restraint. Are you there? Are you there? And then the human beings of today, the society of today is terrible. The society of today is terrible. And it has polluted models of people. Go on the streets. Yahoo boys, Yahoo boys on the street, Yahoo boys in the government, Yahoo boys on the street, and there are Yahoo boys in the government, political Yahoo boys, 
street Yahoo boys. They feel everywhere. Everybody is looking for money. Everybody wants to embezzle. Everybody doesn't want anything about God. And on Sunday, they find themselves in some church. And the foolish pastor will be telling them some foolish things. We will not talk to them about eternity. And then everybody, everybody is singing a song. Want to have my life to live? Don't disturb me with your religion. I have my life to live. I must enjoy my life. The woman comes and then they wear skirts that are here to show their laps. I want to tell you, women are not wired like men. Listen to me. Women are not wired like men. The woman is influenced. Influenced by what she hears. I love you. I love you so much. But the man is a fraud. I love you so much. And you think it's true. And the thing is intoxicating you. I love you so much. I love you. And then you think it is true, but it's a fraud. You get influenced by what you hear. That's the way you are wired. But a man gets influenced by what he sees. Yes. He doesn't need to see your lap because not your husband. Not your husband. He doesn't need to see your underwear because not your husband. Of course, you know that when your husband sees your underwear, he becomes excited. How much? How much more? Somebody that's not your husband. Become also excited. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, if you look on a woman, to lust after the woman, you have committed fornication and adultery with the woman without talking to the woman. Now, who made that man to commit fornication and adultery? It is the man. And the two are candidates for the other side of the great divide. But somebody can say today, in this arena, we are doing celebration of the students. Can I give you a good news for those that have not heard what I said? You see this school? This school was not established by me. This school was established by God and has a, a, a very great purpose. Non-compromisable. One of the purposes is academic excellence. It's not compromisable. I told the graduating students, the author that they want to talk with them for two hours or more. You are the you are the best. You are the luckiest because I spent a lot of time talking to you and praying for you. And at this place, we're going to turn this place to a CIC of old College of Immaculate Conception in Ugu. This place. This place, no compromise, zero tolerance. You don't come here and say you, you say exam my practice. It's not acceptable. Nobody will accept it. There was somebody exam was going on and she, he was there and they receiving something and and Satan helped him and we found him. Are you there? And he was sent away while the exams were going on. And the father, being a, a lecturer in the university, now threatened. I'm going to wait, I'm going to send you people to court. I said, I'm waiting for you in the courtroom. Send to him. I'm waiting for you. And he never went to court. You are a child did a thing that will earn him 20 years imprisonment and you are saying you want to go to court with me. And he chickened out. Now it's on my practice. No, no go area. You know, I said that CIC of old, College of Immaculate Conception was, was, was a college in Enugu. And in the 60s, there were many years when they used to have a Cambridge school certificate. There was nothing like Fell or grade three. I'm not talking nonsense. If you are not a grade two or grade one candidate, you will not reach class five. That's what this place is going to make. That's what God is saying. That's what this place is coming for. So parents, if you have your daughter or your child that is here and is in SS1, take note. Apart from academic excellence, godliness of the youth, non-compromisable, you come in here, you hear this kind of message. You will know that life is short. How time flies. That exclamation. 
how time flies. Is it not true? Is it not true? How time flies. Did you see me? This very handsome young man in the 60s, in the 50s, that was celebrated. And I used to play football, and woman will say, Operator will marry me. Did you hear what I said? And I would be playing football. I was playing at Amoka. And they hired me to play in 1960. And I was, as I was playing and mesmerizing in the, from the left flank, a teacher, huge woman. And I was 15. I was shouting, Operator will marry me. I was happy. I was sad. Happy that the woman was shouting, Operator will marry me. But I was sad. You want to marry a 15 year old boy? That is the person. 1960 was the other day. That is the person that they are referring to. Daddy, everywhere that I go. And wrinkles on the head. How time flies. Did you hear me? You are young now, but soon years will pass. And you begin to become a mother. And you begin to become a father. And before you know it, before you could say Jack Robinson, then wrinkles have developed. And your body is now aching. And the thing that used to be interesting, all the gym, 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 to the music of wicked people, music of children of Belaya that they have used to spoil the present generation all over the world. Spoiled everywhere, including Nigeria. Everybody wants to be a musician. What a nonsense. What a nonsense. Everybody wants to be a musician. Nobody wants to be a pilot. Nobody wants to be a woodworker of consequence. Nobody wants to be a mathematics teacher of consequence. Nobody wants to be a physics teacher of consequence. Nobody wants to be an economics or economist of consequence. Everybody wants to be uh, an actor, an actress, where they open their bloody bonbons for people to see. And somebody's excited. Excited about what? I said that about people that pollute the world. You call them names, you call them celebrities. And you want to be a celebrity? Now the pollution has reached every nook and cranny of this world. But in the midst of the pollution, in the midst of the pollution, God is making his elect. Amen. And that election can be you can be elected to in the midst of pollution. Is anybody listening to me? Yes, in the midst of pollution. In the midst of waywardness. In the midst of adultery. In the midst of uh, nonsensical things. In the midst of political criminality. In the midst of political criminality. That's going on. All over. In the midst of fraud. In the midst of deceiving people. You see the road you traveled. There are roads that are unpassable. Is it not political criminality that made it so? In the midst of that. The Lord is making his jewels. By calling upon anybody. Today. And you can identify. You may be ashamed. I don't want to come to the front. But listen to me. You can, you can, you can identify in your mind. See, I'm not kidding here. I am talking, some people are joking. That word will condemn them. Death is coming. All those people that are there, I am talking to you. You are, I'm talking and you are doing another thing. I am talking to you. 
I am talking to you. You come to this compound, you are hearing this word, you are doing another thing. This word will charge you. I'm not kidding here. This word will judge you. That's what Jesus Christ said. That he didn't come to judge anybody, to condemn anybody. But the word spoken will judge the people at the end of the day. Because somebody is waiting. 79 year old person is waiting. And you are 50. And you are 55. And you are not afraid. I've gone this way. In two years time, it will be 50 solid years that I've followed Jesus. Bumper to bumper. I have no regrets. I have no regrets. The only thing that is paining me is that I sought to follow him 1955 when I was in standard three and I was 11 years and there was nobody to explain. I cried because I saw this life as nothing when I was 11. All the wahala we take to ourselves and then some people die at two. My cousin died at 10. The blood, the pro, the, stro, the, pro, the stomach was protruding. Nobody knew what it was. Nobody had money, and the boy died, and the thing pained me. My mother died at 32 or so. My father died at 30 something when I was two and a half years. And as I was considering these things, and my mother died when I was uh, going to 15 or, four, or, or 16. And as I was considering this thing, I was saying, life is short. What kind of thing is this? A lot of wahala. Now, if we live in this short life and we don't have assurance to live with God, where are we? That's what I said. And I broke down. And that is what I say now. And that's what I say now. You live in this short life. This very short life. This transient life. You have everything to your feel. But you do not have a secured eternity. Poor soul. Also, you shouldn't have been born. You shouldn't have been born. Because eternity is real. So I pressure you. I, I press you. I won't force you. I press you. The Lord God will draw you. He will draw you. He will not force you. He will gently draw you through the word that I am speaking. He gently draws you, but he will not force you against your mind. You are a responsible person. You are not a kid. He will gently draw you. And Jesus Christ said, my father will draw whosoever that cares. And no one that come to, will come to me except my father that sent me draws the person. The Lord is drawing you by these arguments. And you see, you can today, you can today move into that, into that compound, into that life that is a preliminary life that will de determine, will, will ensure you being in the other eternal life. And let me tell you a few things that happen in that life. That life is a life of faith in God. Life of relationship with God. Are you there? You are there. And you have children. And that is the reason you came in here. You have a relationship with your children. You have a relationship with your siblings. That's why you came here. And the life that he's talking about is a life where you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You have a relationship with God. And you have a relationship with the angels. 
Now the spirit of God that will be granted you will now connect you to Christ and connect you to God and connect you to the angels and connect you to Abraham and connect you to all the people that are living in heaven. Amen. This is real. Yes, That's what the Bible says. So, why wait? Why wait? Why wait? Why wait? So, pleading with you, youngsters, young people, listen to me, young people have a way their bodies are working. Their bodies pushing you. There is a time in the, in the, in, uh, when you are a youth and growing, and your body will be pushing you, and your sensual mind will be pushing you. Wants you to sing amorous songs. Wants you to touch the other person. That is natural. But you know, when you move, when you now come to Jesus, he will change the narrative. You will no more be walking according to the instinct of your life, of your mind. You will now be walking according to the instinct of the spirit of God. That's what, that's what it's about. You have now entered the preliminary life. The life of faith, the life of relationship, the life of humility. No matter who you are, and they say, Dr. Mrs. Professor, and you are saying, hold your peace. My name is Alice. Oh, yes, you can call me Alice, I don't worry. If you don't put Dr. Professor, I don't worry. Are you there? Yes, that is a life of humility we are talking about. And then they call you and they say, tallest and finest and most beautiful. And you're the tallest woman in this assembly, in this arena. And the thing is shocking you. And then somebody said, tallest, hold your peace. I didn't buy the tallness from Ochanja Market. So don't blow my mind. That's the life we're talking about. The preliminary life. That we're talking about a life of humility, a life of simplicity, the life of faith in God, the life of not rendering evil. You fire me, I fire you. The life of forgiving people. Your husband did something wrong, and then if your husband has entered this life, you will readily recognize it and say, Baby, you know that's the language of the day. You are calling somebody that is 60 years baby. <laughs> and somebody is calling man that is 17 years baby. <laughs> but let's allow you that. <laughs> I said let us allow you that. And then that man, because he's living this life, we say, baby, I'm very sorry for the words that I spoke. They are rough words. The person that is not living this life that I'm talking about, that has not entered it, you know what he said? I paid you a bright price. Now me, they marry you, not you, they marry me. Stupid talk. Very stupid talk. Now me, they marry you. So the woman has become a slave. Now me, they marry you. You can uppercut her. You are doing that, you are not in that life. A life of simply, the life of Forgiveness. The life of the woman saying, I am sorry. Can I tell you something? And I round up. And then I make the altar call. Then you can stay there and have the altar call. Can I tell you something? The life that Abraham lived. A life of faith. And a life of simplicity. And a life of understanding. Can I tell you what happened? Sarah and Abraham. Abraham had been given promise that he was going to have a child. And I bet... Ten years on, no show. And Sarah came around and said, man, no show. We had descended into Egypt. We got a girl there. I gave her to you. And the man said, you give me this uh, young woman? He said, yes. Thank you, ma. <laughs> That's what happened. Do you blame Abraham? Sarah is a person. And then 
a young person has become pregnant and then grown wings. Yes, I am going to have a child. This is my mistress, old cargo, no fertility. He began to brag. And then the woman said, but I brought you from Egypt. And then you know what he did? He came to Abraham and vented her anger, transferred aggression. See you. The wrong that Hagar did to me be upon you. The wrong that this girl did to me be upon you. God will judge between you and me. Wow. Was she right? No. You caused it. But Abraham said, you don't think well. You, Abraham didn't say, look at you, foolish woman. You gave me the girl. Did I call for it? You come to put cause upon me? Abraham said, no. No quarrel, no fighting. I understand your emotions. The lady still is your maid. Do to her what you want. The life of Abraham. And that is the best life we need in this world. Did you hear me? That's the, that's the life siblings need. Siblings that don't. You ask a woman, where is your senior sister? It's crashing her head. Uh, I think she's living at Abba. Her senior sister or her junior sister. And that's right. When did you call her last? Um, it's quite some time we spoke. No relationship. Commotions, hatred. That's not the life. The life I'm talking about, I have said. And, you can, and that is the life we need in this world. Nobody can argue against this statement and be right. That's the life we need in the families. Am I right? That's the life we need in relationships. Brother to brother relationship. That's the life we need. Now he says, he opened the life, get the gate to that life. And that preliminary life will lead to the eternal life at the end of the day. You can take up, make up your mind to enter that life by doing what? Confessing your sin unto God and saying, I accept the truth and I run with the truth. Graduates, listen to me. I have told you. Two hours I spent with you the other time. Am I right? Yes, sir. And told you that you are the, the luckiest set. Yes, sir. Because I don't remember spending such time and making such prayers and making such declarations on any of the sets. Except in one set at one point in time. And I said, out of you people will come uh, inventors. And the inventors have been coming. Check the records of the people that came from lodges. Wherever they are. Check their records. Check their records. Those that are doctors and nurses and uh, engineers and what have you. The mathematics and all that. Check the records. And see the prophetic utterance that was made concerning them, that has been happening. You can take advantage of what you have had. And then, in the course of time, you will remember that day. And remember this day. And you will thank God for it. Amen. All them that are in the, in the tent, you will young women growing into ladies and ministers that are in the tent. Final word. The final word is if you have entered this gate into that preliminary life which I've explained remain there. Remain there. Remain cooperative. For that, something to continue. Remain there. For shortly and shortly and shortly and shortly, what gonna be? Gonna be. Many people will not be dead and the trumpet will be sound. And God is making me 
to have a faith that I'll be among those people. Although, 79, yeah. That is the reason I tell you I am undiable. I'm undiable, not because I am God. I'm undiable because there is a program that I'm pursuing and I have not reneged. And therefore, now that I have not reneged, why does God take me out? When I have not reneged, when I have not sinned, how does he take me out? We are not being justice to take me out. So let's follow this road. There is no better road under the sun. And there is no better life for anybody to think of. There is no better Experience shows it. We've seen the political arena. We have seen the wealthy people's arena. You can see the nonsense going on. And then somebody drops dead. And they are dancing and spraying money. But the person has been consigned to history and to hellfire. The person has been consigned to hellfire. And they are dancing. God has given them reprobate mind. So, stay where we are. I'm done. Everybody rise up where you are. Rise up where you are. I've kept my promise. Exhortation is not longish. Somebody might have been saying, ah, minister, pastor, we know you. You must try this into three hours. But I've kept my promise. Have I not kept my promise? Are you there? Yes, now you stand up and then you are saying, there is a gate that has opened to a preliminary life that will lead me to the eternal life. And then I enter. Lord, I enter. Lord, I enter through the mechanism of your death. Through the mechanism of your sacrifice, I enter. I am sorry for all my waywardness. Lord, I enter. Lord, I enter. Be my Lord and Savior. Lord, I enter. And then at the end of the day, after this meeting, you now go and take hold of the Bible. Take hold of the instrument. Take hold of the word of God. Take hold of prayer. Take hold of fellowship in the midst of children of God. Choose your pastor. Don't go to church where the people are talking rubbish. Where they are talking about money only. Where they are talking about uh, your grandmother uh, sent uh, 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 um, a wizard bed to your, to your mother. And your mother took the wizard bed and killed it. And then put it, uh, burnt it and put it in a calapash. And then hung it on social place. We need to come and do deliverance. Nonsense. Ecclesiastical jargon. Nonsense. Don't listen to such people. They want to drag, draw your attention so that you will come and the next moment they ask you for money. The next moment the spirit, that, the spirit of divination will enter you. The next moment they will tell you, come here so that we can anoint you. Now listen to me. If somebody that has been anointed through sin anoints you, what you get is Satan. If he pours oil upon you, or he wears handkerchief on you, or lays hand upon you, but he was anointed through sin, to adultery, commits adultery, and speaks in tongues. He said, Come all of you here, come for anointing that breaks the yoke, and he pours oil, and then prays a prayer. He has, he has commanded all the demons of this world to come, and they will become operational. And if you say, Anoint me, anoint me, and now those demons will enter. You have had truth today. You can say, you can say in your mind, I enter this gate. This gate that I opened, I enter into that life. Into that life of understanding. That life of faith and relationship. That life of forgiveness. The life of friendship. Not the life of feuding. Many families that are feuding. Husband and wife are fighting. 
and they go to church. They want to go to heaven. Few does. Fighting people don't go to heaven. Only friends go to heaven. Quarreling people don't go to heaven. People hating people don't go to heaven. It's time to pray. And the Lord and his angels are watching. In the quietness of this moment, the Lord, his spirit, and his angels are watching to, to spot the individual or individuals that say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I enter. Lord, confess my sin. Forgive me my transgressions. I enter this life, this preliminary life. Forgive me. Jesus paid the price. I believe. The angels are washing. They are presently here. So you bow down your head. I have no register to ask you to come and register whether you did it, whether there is a register in heaven. There is a register in heaven where they are taking note of all the people, spotting them in the tent and beside the tent. I conclude with prayer. Great Father in heaven, thank you. Lord, I am very sure, very, very sure that you said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. What did I do now? I just lifted you up. I just lifted the cross of Calvary. I just reenacted it. I just relieved it. That's what I did. By your spirit. And therefore, precious Lord, anybody, man, woman, boy, girl, anybody, anybody, anybody that is found in the line in the line of miracle, the miracle of entering into that compound, anybody that is doing what they are told to do, that person's name automatically is entering the book of life right now. Automatically is going to have the spirit of the most high God now. Automatically we have sins forgiven. And the knowledge of the fact that the sins are forgiven will be granted. And assurance of sins being forgiven will be granted to whosoever that have done what should be done in faith. That is what I am sure about. So that at the end of the day, blessed Father, the person will say, I went to a graduation ceremony on the 12th of August, 2023 at Logos International Secondary School and hit the jackpot. Let it be the testimony of everybody. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let this hour not be toyed with. Let it not be forgotten. Lord, let this thing that has been done and the counsel that has been given. Uh, those that don't have the Bible, go buy the Bible and pray. And find the church where they speak the truth. And prayerfully find it. And beyond that, a pastor that is going to heaven. Not those that call themselves and those that have gotten anointing through sin. In order to be consolidated, Lord, I bless your name. And I give this counsel. If anybody has responded to this message and you have done something, 
and you want a kind of follow up, whosoever you are, and you want to ha have some kind of follow up, you want to have, you want to ask questions, you want to have something uh, uh, clarified that appear to be ambiguous. I want you to take note of this. I'll be willing to answer your, your email. And I give you the email. WCCRM General Pastor at Yahoo.com. WCCRM. WCCRM means uh, Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, but all in small letters. WCCRM General Pastor at Yahoo.com. Send me a mail. I will answer you. If you have some matters you don't understand, send a mail. I will answer you. Send it to this email. I will answer you. That's why we have been into the something for near 50 years. The Lord bless every one of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for the privilege. And we want to quickly go to the next item in the order of events. That's the presentation of awards to students to be handled by the principal Logos International Secondary School. Hallelujah.
want to present awards to students that stood out, went the extra miles in this academic year. As our manner is, we give scholarship according to their positions. The overall best students in junior school always go home with tuition free scholarship for the whole session. That is the next academic session. And the second best goes home with scholarship for two terms, free tuition scholarship. The third position, one term free tuition scholarship. So we want to call out the overall best in the junior category. Master Samuel Ambles Chidebube. Master Ambles Samuel Chidebube. Where are you? Master Samuel Chidebube. Master Amles scored overall 96%. So his picture is going to be kept in a hall of honor for this the next academic year. Challenge others. Any other person can take that position. He can also retain it if he so desires. Unveil this picture. You can do better this than that. The picture of well, Amles Chidebube. Overall best student in the junior category with 96%. A round of applause, please. We can do better than that, please. Congratulations, boy. Here's a letter for a scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations, son. God bless you. Please, all protocol officers, to go to the back of the canopy. This is MDK Jetro Chim Buzo, with 95.2 percent. MDK Jetro Chim Buzo. Chimbuzo scored 95.2 percent. Where is the parent? The parent around? Are the parents here? Please let them come around. Okay. The parents of MNK. Congratulations. Congratulations, son. This is your letter of scholarship for the next academic year. Congratulations. We can do better than that. We can give more applause than that. The third best is Ata Emmanuel Onye Dikachuku of JS2B. Congratulations, sir. Ata Emmanuel Onye Dikachuku of JS2B. Ata Emmanuel. 94.8%. 94.8%. Congratulations, oh, son. Please, if the parents are here, can they come up? Is the parent around? Are the parents of uh, Ata around? Congratulations. This is your scholarship letter for the next academic year. Congratulations, boy. 
For senior category, we have Okwara Peaceful, a Canadian Chuku of SS1G with 93.5%. Okwara Peaceful from the choir stand. Congratulations, Please, can the brothers come around if they're here? Okwara Peaceful. Peaceful Ekene Dirichuku. She is the overall best in senior category with 93.5%. So we we'll also place her portrait in the Hall of Honor for the next academy session. Please a round of applause for Peaceful. You can do better than that. And this is your letter of scholarship for the whole academic year. Congratulations. Congratulations, Peaceful. The next is you. Amefule Chinemeze. Chinemeze. Ask them of SS1E with average of 91%. Amefule Chinemeze. <laughs> Quickly, quickly. Move fast, move fast, move fast, move fast. Congratulations. This is your scholarship letter for next academy session. Congratulations, boy. We can do more than that. We can do better than that. The third best. Coincidentally, we have a tie here. Simeon Bright GBK of SS1E scored 89%, and Eugene Praise Odemenam of SS2D with the same percentage, 89. So, can you come forward? Simeon Bright, Eugene GBK. Appreciate them. You can do better than that. A round of applause for them. This is Simeon Bright, your scholarship letter for next academy session. Eugene, come, come, two of you come and stand here. Congratulations. Girls, don't allow this next year. <laughs> okay, you may go. You know, we have dual vision here, academic excellence and godliness of the youth. So we have students who have distinguished themselves in terms of the fear of God and sound moral lifestyle. The best in the junior school is Adolphus Chizitere. Adolphus Chizitere. Applause. A round of applause for him. It's wonderful. Congratulations, boy. Elle est l'œuvre très intelligent. Félicitations. Bravo. This is your scholarship letter for next academy session. Congratulations. Congratulations, son. We can do better than that. Applaud is say, applaud is say. Junior class, that's for the girls. We have Silas Amarachi, the best in terms of girls. Congratulations. For the senior school, we have Innocent Chukwe Buka. Innocent Chukwe Buka, the best boy. Innocent Chukwe Buka. The most God fearing and the best behaved student. Cherish. Cherish. The most confident. 
Bravo, tu as fait bien. This is your scholarship letter for next academy session. Congratulations. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Now, we also want to call out best students in classes. We want to start with JS1. The first position there goes to Samuel Ambles Chidebube. Quickly come out. Samuel Ambles. Again. Samuel I'm blessed again. Followed by Emily K. J. Chimbuzo. Please, if you hear your name, come out. Please let them be coming out Please immediately be out. because of time. And the second, sorry, the third position in JS1, Chuku Emeka Ade is a root, JS1F with 93.3%. Chuku Emeka Ade is a. Congratulations. Then the second person. Second person go. Third person, Ruth. Congratulations. The third person. Okay. In JS2, we have Ata Emmanuel. Onye de Kachuku. JS2. With Ata Emmanuel. Yes. Four point seven per cent. The third best is Uche Chuku Goodness. Chuku, please step up, step up, step up fast. Chuku Monyem. Okay, the third position in JS1. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dave. Felicitations. The first in JS2. Congratulations. The second person. Congratulations. The third. Congratulations. Can we applaud them better? Cannot be you can do better than that. Chasing them. It's not easy. For senior school, Okwara Peaceful, Ekene Derechuku. Second is Ame Fulechine Meze Aslem. And the third is Simeon Bright. She became. Please can you comfort? Can you comfort? SS2. Please step up, step Eugene up, step up faster. Praise Second position, Akubudike Favor, Ebube Chuku. Third position, Fimbas Desire, Gido Mimi. Girls, what is happening? What is happening? You have to take the challenge. The best in SS1. Congratulations. Second best. Congratulations. Third best. Congratulations. SS2. Please can we applaud them? Can we can we give them a better round of applause? The overall best in SS2. Congratulations. Second position, congratulations. And the third, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, because of time, we will not continue with these other ones. When we return, we will call out those other ones. Now we want to go into award for staff. Staff award. Here we have best staff in art department. Miss Iba Anosi Miracle. Miss Iba Anosi Miracle of the art department. of today's location, could you please come and help us to present some of these gifts? Miss Ibangosi, Miracle of the Arts Department. For Languages Department, we have Mbale Vincent. See Mbale, where are you? See Mbale. Mr. Mbale of the Languages Department. See Mbale. Mathematics. 
parties we have Emenike Onyeka. Maths department, Onyeka Emenike. Congratulations, Mr. Mbale. Mr. Emenike Onyeka, where are you? Sciences, Idudu, Edith. Social Sciences, Iwejo Lillian. Vocational, Mr. Ifa Imadu. Please, if you hear your name wherever you are, come forward. Idudu Edith, Ifa Imadu. Mr. Irebu Daniel. Mr. Daniel Irebu. Sanitation Department. We have Pepetua. Nchekube. Nchekube Pepetua of the Sanitation Department. Works Department. We have Mr. Augustine Esemonu. Students, clap for your teachers and your staff. Clap for them. Appreciate them. Please, the members of staff that we are called, please, um, once you hear your name, you can come around. Miss Iwejo Lilian. Miss Iban Usi Miracle. Mr. Ifanyo of the Vocational Department. Congratulations. Works. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Pastor, your KG, please help us. We also have the best in medical. Wadiobu, Cecilia. Wadiobu, Cecilia. In country department, we have Nabwe. How about? Nabwe, how about? From Catherine department. Security, we have Enyemwa, Angela. Please, the band boys, help us. Just hold on a little. Yeah. Catherine Department, Nambo Herbert. Medicals, Wadiobu, Cecilia. Security, Enyemwa, Angela. Welfare girls, Ifo Machuku. Welfare boys, Frank Awuzie. Please, if you are here. Please, as you hear your name, comfort and um, receive your gift. Okay, admin. We have Mrs. Confidence Henry. Confidence Henry, can you come forward? Accounts. Accounts we have on Henry Choma. Miss on Henry Choma. Miss on Henry Choma, can you come forward? Congratulations, man. Congratulations, Choma. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, may I call on uh, the vice chairman PTA? Is he here? Mr. Imosiki. Okay. Help us to present awards to the best HOD tutorial, Mrs. Iwaha Ngozi. Mrs. Iwaha Ngozi. Mrs. Ngozi Iwaha. The best 
Just holding on tutorial. This is Anona Felicia. Congratulations. Miss Ogike Isabella. Yeah. <laughs> Ogike okay, Isabella. Isabella. Congratulations. Félicitations. Elle est très heureuse. Très travailleuse. Félicitations. Okay. <laughs> yeah, welcome. God bless you. <laughs> Congratulations, Isabella. The best utility staff tutorial. Best utility staff in tutorial, Mr. Igwe Obonaya. Mr. Igwe, Igwe Obonaya. Obonaya. Staff non tutorial. We have Ukwe Collins Ikena. Ukwe Collins Ikena. The vice management staff of the year. The vice management staff of the year is Mr. Duru Thomas. Congratulations. Ceremony successfully today because of these committee heads who, out of sleepless nights, have helped us to put things in place. We want to honor them now. Um, we have head of resort collation, Mrs. Chine Kezi, Virginia. Come forward. Invitation committee, Mrs. Amanabo Emakuleta. Protocols. Mr. Chikwado Iwuji, Head of Entertainment, Mrs. Iwan Hangozi, Gift and Award, Mr. Iwu Chrysanthus. Felicia, head of decoration, Mr. Anya Wu Alex, the head of band and music committee, Mr. Samuel Onovo, the head of security. The head of transportation, Mr. Udoye Ndoderem, and the head of electrical, Mr. and Engineer Mike Ihwacha, and then the last is Mr. Wisdom, the head of media. Thank you very much for your help. Please, can we applaud these recipients? We can do better than that. Thank you. 
a very big congratulations to all the recipients of uh, the different awards. Sometimes early this year, thank you, sir. Sometime early this year, Obina Ebenezer represented the school in an NPC competition. He came second in local level, local government level, first position in state, and Southeast Zona champion. And then he was given 100,000 Naira of grants. He represented the Southeast at Abuja during the national competition and came with sixth position. So we have this award to present to him. Obina Ebenezer, can you come forward? He's one of the graduates. Mr. Obina Ebenezer, he is one of the graduates. Please, can you come forward? A round of applause for him. Please, can we applaud him as he comes to stage to receive the awards? Board chairman, vice chairman, one, please. Board vice chairman, one. That DB Dogu, please come and help us to present this gift. We want to inform all that Obina also major as uh, the valedictorian for the 2023 class. Okay, we also have awards for all our prefects, the graduating class. So please, from the SV boys and girls, and all others, can you come forward for your awards? Prefects. All the prefects. Now all the, the prefects last, should come forward. The last presentation before we share the grace. Is that right? Thank you, sir. Presentation by the graduating class. Are you sure you have anything to present? No, they don't have anything. The game changers indeed. Felicitations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to, we have almost come to the end of the program, but before we say the closing prayers, we want to call on the PTA chairman for a vote of thanks. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before the vote of thanks, I just want to make one or two statements from the Parent Teacher Association. We thank God for this um, unique gradients. And um, we just want to say one or two things. Um, I want to just call our ship to their children, those of them that are still here and that still have students here. We are going to give them the tuition of one of their ch uh, children, wherever level they are till they finish from this school. 
That is our little token. Please a round of to applause. such staff in this place. Because we are celebrating the 25th uh, graduates anniversary of the school. So thank you very much. Another little thing is this. We want to establish a little sporting event, both to the girls' area and to the boys' area. We want to ensure that by the beginning of the next academic session, we'll have volleyball for the girls over there and badminton over there and here too for the boys. And uh, I'm believing what the principal said, by the special grace of God, the next graduation will be at the PTA Hall for this very school. This clap is not too heavy for me. Please, all. can we give a better I, applause? Can we I, give a better applause? Something greater can than we this. give a better? Are we tired of appreciating good? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I want to end it up by then making the making the closing prayer. Um. I want us to bow down our heads because the time is up and I can't continue. Graduates and the students, I want to close by singing this uh, song that our big daddy always sings for us. And that is to ram it up. I want to say I want to say thank you I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so great. You are so great. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. We want to say thank you on behalf of these great people that are graduating today. We want to say thank you for all your goodness and mercies and love unto your people. We want to say thank you, the author and the finisher of our faiths. We want to say thank you, the bishop and the shepherd of our soul. We want to say thank you, the one that gave us the vision that made it possible for we to celebrate the 25th anniversary of this great city to today. We want to say thank you, the God of the watchman, the God of Aloysius Chukwemeka Ohanebo Onye Omelitobi. We want to say thank you. This very God of the very God of the very God. We say, Lord, to you be all praises, all thanksgiving, all adoration, all excellency, all majesty, all power, all dominion, all honor and glory. Let all be ascribed unto you forever and ever and ever and ever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Everlasting King of glory, we are departing here not from your presence. We ask that you grant all journey messages to their respective destinations in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord God Almighty, we seal everything we have done here today in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Lord and we Jesus. ask that you take over. 
yes, Lord. as we hand over yes, Lord. and let your name alone be glorified. Yes, Thank you for everything, Thank our Lord and Father. our Master. Thank you for the board. Thank you for the pal. Thank you for the management. Thank you for the staff. Thank you for all. Be thou exalted forever, Lord. In Jesus' most perfect name, we have prayed. Amen. We have come to the end of the program.